share my audacious friends. Good morning, even though it's not morning right now, but I release these in the morning. <laughs> it's actually like 2.30 and I've got this one going to work out with me today. We are doing week one, day one of my audacious athlete eight week trainer that I released last week. Um, I had my first Sunday Facebook Live last night with my audacious friends in there and I would think it I think it went really well like everybody's seems to ha understand how to execute the movements how to execute like exercise modifications and replacements with the equipment that they have available to them in their gym and overall like so far four or five people have already done the workout for today and they've posted some great feedback about how sore they are or how sore they're going to be and then basically everybody said how much they loved uh, this load day because that's what we're starting off with chest triceps with some shoulder emphasis and it's in a load structured format so um, we're starting with like a lower rep range working up into a higher rep range with lighter weight and we're going to do that workout yeah um, right now and you guys are gonna see some of that footage and yeah so see you guys in the gym bye-bye hi you guys and welcome to the workout I wanted to start with a great voiceover to uh, solidify the release of my eight-week trainer footage this is d1 of week one for us I selected the Smith machine Smith machine chest press for our first working chest exercise because it's one you typically don't need to have a spot to execute correctly and it allows many people who haven't bench press um, the ability to learn how to do so. So after completing the Smith Machine chest press, we're going to go into incline dumbbell flies. Now incline dumbbell flies, I really do like to tell people the biggest cue here is to feel it through the pinky and ring finger and you wanna feel like you're opening up wide, like you're hugging a tree, hugging a barrel, and I do choose an incline here because it does give you a little bit more emphasis on your anterior delts and your shoulders. This is one of my favorite movements for increasing my shoulder strength actually. So after completing those straight sets, I move into a chest superset. This chest superset, I actually had to do an exercise modification because I couldn't get access to the dual cable flies. So what you're seeing here is a unique cable system where the handles are attached to the one whole system. And I chose to do a press variation here because the next movement was a pec deck that you're not gonna see, which is a flying based movement. Moving into our tricep work, I did start with a barbell movement for your first tricep straight set. It is a flat bench barbell skull crusher and I want you to notice how my elbows are facing directly in front of me. They don't turn out. And so you have to find the right grip here to be able to keep your elbows intact facing forward. And I chose to do the cambered bar because I just am able to keep my elbows in line really, really well with this particular one. This is my very last set. So notice I'm doing a little bit lighter weight, really trying to pump out that last 15 reps. Then going into the tricep dips, in order for me to do six dips total, I did have to go with an assisted machine. I'm really close to getting body weight for six, but here you'll notice I'm just doing six and I do it at about 30 pounds. And we are moving into the last superset of the workout. This is actually one of my very favorite tricep movements. This is the incline prone tricep kickbacks. So prone just means facing down on the bench. And when I do this movement, I try to actually turn out my pinky and ring fingers to really activate the outer head of the tricep here. And you're really gonna feel that at the inside of the arm. Again, this is one of my favorite tricep movements. I'm really excited that everybody seemed to really enjoy this one. This is one I typically recommend people to go a little lighter in just so they feel the movement the most. The last thing is the cable rope press down. I do choose cable movements in a superset following a dumbbell movement because cables, you tend to be able to hold your form a little bit better in a more fatigued state. Notice how I am very fatigued because my elbow is coming front of, in front of my midline far too much. So I am struggling here with this movement and getting my tricep activation. Hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover and see you guys in the next clip. So we are back home from the workout and I have his verdict. What was the verdict on that workout, babe? It was hard. It was really hard. My arms feel like noodles. <laughs> his arms feel like noodles. So his post workout is gonna be a burger and some lettuce. Is that gonna be all your vegetables that you have? Yeah, do you got any more vegetables? You, did you make there's any asparagus more vegetables? There's asparagus in there. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's asparagus left over. 
Okay, so you should eat some asparagus. All right. Okay. But I haven't shared with um, my YouTube fam my favorite post-workout right now. It is a protein cereal. Maybe I have shared it with you guys. I'm really not sure, but I'm sharing it with you again. And I've shared it with uh, my Instagram fam. But it is a cereal of choice right now based on like my taste preferences and coupons because Kroger loves to give me coupons. I had a coupon for this new Blueberry Chex. It is gluten-free and it is bomb. It is so good. And it's really, 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 really good with my strawberry banana Legion protein that I'm gonna mix it with. So I do 25 grams of the Chex Blueberry as I hit myself in the face with the box and 25 grams of the Barbara's Spoonfuls. This is kind of, it reminds me of Life Cereal. If I could best like give you guys an idea of what this is, it's Life Cereal, but this is a multi-grain um, wheat-based cereal. So this is what it is, it's just put it in a bowl and then I put about 50 grams of banana on top and now I'm gonna make up the protein milk to go on top of this. You just shake it up and that is all. Pour it over your cereal. I feel like I need another post-workout. Just spent past hour and a half vacuuming and waxing my hardwood floors and I'm so tired now. I'm like sweating still from my workout. This is crazy. My husband was just leaving for work and he was like, um, you should shower. Like you smell. And thank God you guys can't smell me because it's bad. Uh, where's I going with that? Uh, yeah, so my husband now, uh, this is really crazy. We, he has to work nights now. I'm not too happy about it. I'm like really sad about it. In fact, last night was the first night. And it, sucks anywho but we're making it work um it's kind of difficult because you know i work from home so he's sleeping during the day while i'm working and like banging around dishes and cooking five or six meals and but the positive thing is he was able to go to the gym with me on like a monday which he normally could only go with me on like fridays or saturdays so now that i'm only training monday tuesday thursday friday he was really only going one day a week with me so this is good so this might be a new routine for us you might get to see him on my channel just a little bit more so anywho that's what's changed there that's what's going on with life um, a little bit of health update i know you guys are kind of curious um sorry louis is chewing on his bowl um a little life update uh we are sitting in a really good spot like really good um, I just, I did go to have to go see an endocrinologist and he, of course, went into like the history of amenorrhea, like blah, 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 like I already understand, like I have exercise induced amenorrhea, got it, um, working on it, uh, and I just was hoping he would give me some insight, but he really didn't, but he did test my blood work, which is exactly what I wanted him to do, um, is test my blood work because my nurse prac wouldn't do that. Um, ah! This pineapple seltzer water is really, really, really good. I just tried it for the first time today at Kroger. Nurse Crack that I went to through six weeks, over six weeks ago, she wouldn't retest um, my blood because of the issues that were prevalent in it, in my hormone panel. So she forwarded me over to an endocrinologist. Kind of figured that that was gonna be the route that they would take. But the endocrinologist said he would test my, retest my blood work for me on a more regular basis. He will only test it every six months. I kind of want it tested a little bit more regularly than six months, but you know, we'll go, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, anyways, this past time I got my blood work back. Hormones are working their way up, fam. We are getting some testosterone, just a little bit. We're getting some estrogen, just a little bit. And we're getting some progesterone, just a little bit. And I have not had to do any sort of medical hormone replacement therapy. So this is all really, really good signs for me. I'm very happy with where things are at. I feel good. Um, you know, body looks different as it should. I'm eating more. Um, 
Lifting, I wish I was felt stronger in my lifts, but I don't. Um, I'm not taking anything for growth right now. Um, so I'm not taking any sort of beta alanine, creatine, citrulline. Um, I'm just, I'm not taking any of that hardly before I work out. Like occasionally if I get like a little bit of less sleep because of these crazy animals I've got, I'll occasionally have a po of, have like a pre-workout. I'll have my pulse. Um, and even then I like, will have like eight grams guys. Like I'm not having a lot. I have not having a lot because I'm trying to listen to exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, which is letting my sympathetic nervous system rest. Cause I do think that that is what's naturally helping with my hormone levels and I'm sleeping when I do get some sleep I am sleeping really good so that's good everything is doing well so I felt like I needed to like close up this vlog sharing that with you guys because I know like it's been a couple of vlogs since I've talked about it and this is what that uh, this series is about everybody loves my audacious athlete trainer my crew and my uh beta my beta my beta group is going over so well this is just day one but we had our first Facebook live yesterday and they all are chiming in about how much they've loved d1 so far I love D1, it was awesome. Jared obviously feels like noodle arms. Like everything is really going in a great direction so I'm just very thankful. Um, I do wanna share a little bit more about my yoga practice that I've been doing um, with you guys in the coming vlogs because I feel like that has helped a lot with what I'm battling or with what like my internal health is because it's setting off my parasympathetic nervous system and it's helping me feel really like balanced and I'm not able to work out as much so it's allowing me a little bit more movement and helping me increase my flexibility which is something that when I trained a lot I would lose so I'm able to like steadily touch my toes like every single day which is great i do sit a lot for my job because i type on the computer um so it's just nice to be able to go and be mobile and to like get my spine in, in different flexions and and yeah savasana is also <laughs> wonderful this vlog is kind of going in a downhill spiral but i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> the voiceover I'm saying that now because i'm going to record a voiceover for you guys in this footage so we're gonna close this vlog out here i'm gonna eat I'm going to shower so I don't smell anymore, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Mwah.